Hey YouTube, what's going on? Brandon here with another YouTube review video. Today I'm gonna to be unboxing this Black & Decker Air Swivel model BDA-SV104. And uh, I'm gonna be kinda of just taking it apart, unboxing it of course, and then uh, kind of going ahead and using it and showing you guys kind of what you're getting if you're planning on buying it. If you are planning on buying uh, this uh, vacuum, there's gonna be a link in the description below for you to easily go ahead and purchase it. But let's go ahead and get this guy opened. All right, so right away on the top of the uh, box, you're gonna have the, uh, looks like a belt. I, so you've got an instruction uh, book here. I recommend that you go through it, of course. So we'll put this aside for now, but it does come with this belt here. Next, you're gonna have uh, one of the attachments. This is kind of for, you know, little crevices and corners where you can't get your, the actual uh, vacuum in. You've got another attachment here attached. So there's a couple of attachments, three attachments total it looks like. And you've got your vacuum arm. You've got a little screw there, so you've got to put that together. Okay, so that's really all there is, and then you're gonna go ahead and pull this. Actually, you've got your actual hose there. And then the actual vacuum is right in here. Go ahead and pull this out. All right, so these are your pieces that you are going to be getting inside the box. You've got the uh, the main vacuum uh, piece here. You got, and this is a little demonstration here. You've got some. Whoa, that's fancy. Okay. So you've got that, you've got your arm, you're going to place, I'm assuming, right up here. So I'm assuming that you're going to remove this guy here, and this is actually, of course, you've got your foam in there. This is going to pick up all of your trash. Then you've got the, you've got your arm here, and I'm assuming it goes in just like that, and it clicks right in place. So I'm going to put this together for you guys. So you know exactly what you're getting into with this vacuum. This screw here, this screw goes somewhere. It goes right on the back here. First, you can go ahead and if you attach, just put your arm on, you're going to go ahead and put this on. Don't worry, we're going to use it in just a moment. And st stick through the rest of the video until the end, uh, just so that you see all the components here. And I'm going to show you how to, I'm going to demonstrate uh, kind of the suction power. You'll be able to see how I'm using it. To decide if this is the right vacuum for you. Go ahead and put this guy on. Okay, so this actually goes on this side. And you can actually put this in when it's not being used, I guess. I've never seen that on a vacuum, I'm sorry. But uh okay, now this guy. First guy, it's gonna go like that. It'll be right on here. And this one, there's no place to put this guy actually, so I'm gonna leave this off while I go ahead and use it. Okay, so I'm just untied the power cord there, plugging it in. So one thing I uh, noticed already is that compared to one of your older vacuums. I'll uh, show you a comparison here really quick. So you compare these two and you can see the size of the Black & Decker. It's a lot smaller, easier to manage, and of course it has more, a lot more functionality to it. It's got the swivel and it's, but we're gonna see how much better this one is now. This one is burned out and that's why we got a new one. <laughs>
lot of moves that you normally would do with a vacuum. This makes it very easy. Okay, I'm gonna throw this guy right on here and we'll see how we can use how these attachments perform and how it looks. Okay, so you're just gonna be pulling this from where it's at, this hose, and they both attach kind of together there. And you've got your attachment. You go ahead. You've got really good suction there. Take it to a dirty spot. This is a dirty spot here. that this video was helpful for you in making a buying decision for this uh, Black & Decker vacuum. Uh, I really needed a good vacuum for my apartment and I was going to get one that was slightly cheaper. It was about $50 but I saw this one and I saw that it had the swivel on it. Um, I saw that it was Black & Decker and I just assumed that it would be better quality. This other one looked kind of cheaper. So I went with this one. This one cost me about $70, $80 around there. So for $20, $30 more you're getting uh, a much a much better vacuum in my opinion because the one that I previously was using you could tell that this one probably was going to be the best quality so kind of just so that you're not spending hundreds of dollars this is kind of the midpoint where you're going to get you know the functionality the swivel functionality you saw how I used it and uh, that is very helpful when it comes to you know certain um, crevices there and turns you're needing to make when you're um, cleaning certain areas and then you saw with the attachment it did a very good job even with you know a non-carpet surface kind of cleaning all that up so this uh, vacuum has very very good suction so I really hope that this was helpful if you have any questions at all I'm gonna be using this um, from now on so I'm gonna learn a lot more kind of have some more insight as well using it um, so if you have any questions at all feel free to comment below also make sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would be really greatly appreciated. And again, there's a link in the description below for you to get yours. I believe it's on sale. Uh, so make sure that you go down there and click on that link. Other than that, that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching and until next time.